Let's get to Australia and Florida's Governor DeSantis. Well, DeSantis slammed Australia's COVID restrictions, and he actually suggested the U.S. should reconsider our relationship. Watch this. Look what's going on in Australia right now. Uh, it's not a free country at all. In fact, I mean, I, you know, I wonder why we would still, um, you know, have the same diplomatic relations when they're doing that. I mean, is, is Australia freer than China, communist China right now? I don't know. All right, let's bring in the guy with the Australian accent who just happens to be an American citizen these days. His name is Nick Adams, and he joins us now. Nick, we think of Australia as a freedom-loving country like the United States. So we were all kind of shocked when we saw that guy who was tackled by the police, thrown to the ground because he wasn't... There it is on the screen now. Because he wasn't wearing a mask outdoors. What's going on in your country, or your old country? Well, Stuart, I wish I could tell you that I was surprised that the flying kangaroo has turned out really to be a plodding wombat at best, but I'm not. As somebody that was born there, raised there, lived 32 years of my life there, this kind of draconianism is pretty, pretty typical for Australia and has always kind of been underneath the surface. Anybody that has even visited Australia will know, Stuart, that if you bring in the wrong nut or the wrong piece of fruit, you may as well bring in a kilo of cocaine because you're going to get treated like a Colombian drug dealer. So Australia has always had that island nation kind of mentality. It's always leaned socialist and sadly now we're seeing the effects of all of that. But I can't believe it's popular. That, this kind of draconian lockdown that's gone on for a long, long time, I can't believe it's popular. And in fact, I think you may be seeing signs of revolt. You know, this football match that officials are blaming for the spike in COVID cases, mm -hmm. people holding lots of parties, revolting against the strict lockdown. Is there more signs of revolt? I think so, Stuart. Absolutely. Look, everybody's got their breaking point. Australians are remarkably compliant people. They're the same people that voluntarily handed in their firearms for a gun buyback scheme back in 1996. Uh, they've always been people that kind of take direction, look for direction from the government. But the signs for freedom are pretty promising in that lots of people are saying enough is enough. We don't want this anymore. Uh, we've been locked down for several months. There seems to be no end in sight. The government's botched this up really badly. Or again, to use a term that you might prefer, buggered it up pretty significantly. And uh, we don't want it anymore. OK, real fast. CNN says it will no longer publish content on Facebook in Australia because an Australian court says media companies are now liable for comments posted under those articles. That's draconian. Very much so, Stuart. Australians are absolutely uh, big guardians of their reputation. They can't think of anything worse to have a bad reputation and that's why defamation is such a big thing in Australia and now big tech is kind of feeling all of that. Of course, you don't have to worry about your reputation, Stuart, because you're known as a good guy. I am? <laughs> uh, to me, at least. Uh, well, thank you very much indeed, young man. Thank you very much indeed. Nick, you, sir, are all right, and we will see you again soon. That's a promise. All right. It's a pleasure. It's 11.50.